Greetings, Dave Dickinson here from AstroGuys.com, and I thought I would tell you a few things you need to know about the October 8th total lunar eclipse of the moon that's coming up next Wednesday, and uh, a few little factoids about it, what's going on, what you can expect to see, what you can do, and there's a few neat little simulations that I put together as well. This eclipse goes off in early morning for most of North America. We'll see it, you'll see all the phases except for on the U.S. East Coast on a line from uh, the Great Lakes down through the Mississippi region and the U.S. East Coast will see the moon set during totality. Now the further west you are, the more the eclipse you're going to see. In the Pacific region, we'll actually get to see the entire eclipse. Hawaii will see it high overhead. What's going to be really cool is the western U.S., they'll see it as the moon is actually setting. So you'll be able to see uh, the foreground and get some foreground stuff and uh, it'd be a great time for photography. Over in Australia and in the US and in the Asian Far East they're going to see the moon rising during the eclipse. Now the moon, the total eclipse of the moon, this is the second in a series of four, the second in the series of two for this year in 2014, the second in a series of four for what's known as a lunar tetrad, the term has been going around, where there's two this year, two next year, and they also have conjoining solar eclipses as well. There is a partial solar eclipse coming up on October 23rd, and you're going to be able to see that in the western U.S. as well. So October 2014 is definitely going to be a season and cycle for eclipses. Now the big event, of course, the total solar eclipse of 2017 on August 21st will be the neck the first total solar eclipse crossing the lower 48 United States since 1979 but this will be a good little teaser this partial solar eclipse unlike a total solar eclipse of course you can't watch a partial solar eclipse with the unaided eye you have to have your eyes protected during the entire phase of part because it never goes total on this type of eclipse but it's a total lunar eclipse, going back to that, it's kind of neat to see. The moon will turn red. Uh, it'll probably be less red than it was on the tax day, April 15th. Uh, partial total solar eclipse that happened earlier this year that I observed from Florida. The moon, the total phase of this eclipse or totality is only going to be 61 minutes long, which is about 18 minutes shorter than it was on April 15th. And you think about it from the moon, and I ran a simulation here coming up. The moon will see a total eclipse of the sun, which no human has ever seen because no human has ever stood on the moon. A few spacecraft, uh, there was a Japanese lunar probe that actually did witness this and take a HD video of it a few years back, but uh, no human eye has ever stood on the moon or in orbit around the moon and seen a total solar eclipse as seen. So we're going to run that simulation as well. We're going to run the one in Starry Night, but if you're in North America or Canada, Hawaii, Pacific region, Australia, and you have clear skies on October 8th next Wednesday morning, make sure you get out and see this eclipse.